it's uh, Scott here. Uh, the current project I'm doing is uh, retrofitting Angel Eyes into the headlamps on my W204C class. Um, so this is the first of two videos. Um, so this video is how to remove the headlight from the vehicle and how to put it back in again. So um, I've made a video of doing the right hand side headlight the left hand one is identical, it's just a mirror image, so you only need to see the one. And then the second follow up video is, um, is the actual dismantling of the headlight unit and installing the uh, angel eyes. So I hope you enjoy. First thing I've done here is I've just put the right hand wheel up on a, on a ramp and I've turned the wheel to the left to give me access to the panel clips on the inside lining of the wheel arch at the front. First thing I'm going to do is remove this piece of trim here. So I just have to remove these two panel clips. The easiest way I think is a small screwdriver just to lift the centre up to pull them out. And I'll just use a small pair of needle nose pliers to pull it up. And just pull the whole clip out like that. Okay, that's that. Now the second step is we're going to take this plastic section off here. So the first thing I have to do is release the air intakes. So easy enough to do. Just put a screwdriver under there. Okay, that's the first one released. And then the second one. And this little clip here, I need to turn that 90 degrees to release okay, that. So once you've released the two air intakes and this little clip here, um, the next step is to release this clip down here. So there's a tag there that has to be pushed in. Okay, you can see that I'm pushing it with the screwdriver. So you have to push that in at the same time as you pull this as you pull this out. And then that will unclip. And there's an identical one on the other side. There. And I'll do the other one. thing is there are two little tongues one here and one there that sit underneath this metal here and you just need to pull that back to release so I'll pull that back and then it comes out and there you go so that's that one off okay, so now we're going to take the drill off so I'll just remove this too now what you have to do is uh, at the bottom of the drill here is give it a push inwards like that and then it just lifts out so when you're putting the drill back in again these tags here slot into into these slots here, there, there, there and so on. So installing is a reverse of taking it off and these little dowels here on the end pivot into a slot there. So it's quite easy to get back in again. Now the next thing to do is just pull this rubber in behind those little tags there, so just pull that out. You're just folding it back actually. And then we need to undo 
that 10 millimetre bolt there which will release this plastic section around here and allow you to pull it back. So make sure you put all the bolts in a box or a container or something so you don't lose them. So that will release that and gives you a bit of movement. While we're still at the top of here working from here, let's remove the two 8mm bolts that hold the lights in. So as I said, there's one down there and there's one under here. Uh, eight millimeter socket so the next one is underneath this also eight millimeter so there it is okay so the next thing we have to do is we have to release this panel here from the fender and there are two 10 millimeter screws, self-tapping screws into plastic behind here. Um, and to get to those, we have to remove three panel clips. Um, so there's one here, one there, and one there and then there's another one underneath just there and then the other thing we have to do is remove an eight millimeter just there so there's an eight millimeter uh, bolt just here I put all these in my cardboard container. Now we've released all the clips from here. What we can do is pull this out. And then what I do, just with a piece of wire, I put and I put a hook on each end of this piece of wire. And I put one hook through the top of those three holes. The other hook through the bottom. And then with an elastic strap, put that on there and then hook it back to something. So that now gives us access into the remaining headlight uh, bolt, which is which is just down here. I'll show you in a sec. And then to get to those two 10 millimeter bolts up here to release that panel. See, so I just remembered. I, I think I put this on my on the second, not the bottom hole, but the second hole. That's this one here. That's it. That's what I do. That's better. That gives you more room. And I'll hook the elastic strap around to the other side of the uh, mud flap. Now, I'm looking into the into the void here. Now, that bolt there is the remaining 8mm bolt that holds the headlight in. But there, there's one 10mm bolt and there's the other 10mm bolt that uh, hold the two panels together. So I've just got to take those two out. Okay, I'm removing the headlight bolt. Okay, there it 
this. Now to get these two 10 millimeter screws out, it's easier if you use a quite a long extension. So I just wanted to show you that that clip there. That uh, there's a post with a yeah with a a slot in the bumper that slips around there. So we've got to pull that back to um, release the front bumper cover. Okay, now that everything's released, uh, those two 10 mil bolts are out. Um, we have to pull this this section down because there are two little plastic uh, posts in here that could easily break. So if you pull it down first and then release them, so there's the two posts there and there. And now you just grab it here and pull it towards the front, and it unclips from the uh, the mechanism on the side here. Now, now the you know, the whole front bumper is, is quite, um, has created quite a lot of space for, for the headlamp to be pulled out. There's another view of the uh, mechanism that holds the, the bumper cover and there's the slot there that goes over that. Right, go. so the only thing holding the headlight in now is the electrical connector and the uh, if you've got bi on lights, the water supply pipe to the washers. So there should be enough room to maneuver this. Now you only want to get it just a little way out and then take the connector off. I've got HID bulbs on the uh, high beam, so I've just got to disconnect the ballast wiring, which I'm doing now. If you don't have that, you won't have to do this part. Okay, the headlight connector is just here. So there's a little tag there, the easiest way is using a hook tool. Just get the hook underneath it and pull it. And it comes out. There you go. Below that is the connection, the water connection for the washers, which is just here. And there's a little clip. Oh, there it is. There, there's a little clip that you can pull off. There it is. And once that clips off, then I should be able to pull that water line off like that. There you go. So there's the, the connection there, and there's the water pipe. So that's it. That, all the connections have been released now. So I can pull the headlight out. Okay. There you go, that's easy. One headlight. Put that on the bench. So that's what it looks like inside. Um, once the headlight, headlight is out. So there's your connector, there's the water line if you've got bi axons a few sensors and things around, I guess they're for airbags and things like that now to put the headlight back in is just a reverse of that so I don't think I need to show you reinstalling the headlight but basically just get the headlight sort of halfway in and connect the water pipe put the clip back on and then push the um, electrical connector on. Spray a bit of silicon spray on there first. Just uh, prevents corrosion and makes it easier to go on. And then just uh, put everything back together um, as it came off. Um, just sitting on the chair. Uh, this here is the ballast for the uh, HID projectors. 
So this is, remember this is the bi exon light, so it came out of the factory with uh, a projector light with uh, HID, so very simple to take that off if you need to replace it. It's just three torque screws, pull it off and uh, stick another one on. But you'd have to take the headlight out to, to replace that. And as you can see, I've already done a conversion to HID for the high beam, so I've got these extra cables here which uh, you won't have if you haven't done that conversion. And there's the headlight washing mechanism there. That's where the water line goes.